Okay, let's start first very fast with the vocabulary we learned. The vocabulary we learned was the natural disasters. Yes? Tell me, please, what is the picture? Oh. Mm, let's see. Yeah, I scared the worst. Yeah, what is the first picture? Tell me. How do you say terremoto in English? Reina, can you tell me? This is earthquake. Yeah, this picture is an earthquake. The second picture, Reina, what is this? Flood, yeah, that's flood. The next, this is hurricane, okay. The next, very similar to Spanish, what is that? Uh, now, this is an earthquake. This other is a tornado. Hurricane, tornado. What is this? Volcano. Eruption. No? A volcano eruption. And finally, this is a It said tsunami. Okay. okay. Well, this is the vocabulary, no? In the last class, also, we learned about the grammar. The grammar we used was so and such a. So, remember, we use with adjectives. For example, so bored. This movie is so boring. So, no? And such a, we use for adjective, but, but with a noun. El such a se utiliza con sustantivos, pero sustantivos que tengan adjetivos también. For example, it was such a boring movie. This is such an awful situation. Okay? Such a. Now, let's practice this one more, okay? Let's make a revision of that. Please, Reina, tell me what is the answer for each sentence, okay? Look. Wow, that was amazing. I never seen... Mira, ve, good es un adjetivo, pero exhibition es un sustantivo. Such, yes. El so solo se utiliza cuando hay adjetivo nada más, solo un adjetivo. Ya, yeah, this other. Yes, so expensive. There was a huge storm last night and all the lights went out at home. It was, we had to light candles.
Yes, so dark. Good. I have I've I have broken your favorite mug. I'm I value a new one. Yes, I'm so sorry. Good. I saw an interesting program on TV last night. Yes, such an interesting program, no? Good. The next. Yes, so very good. So well, no? Muy bien, Luis. Muy bien, so well. And to finish the number eight. So hard. Yes, so hard. That's good. Recuérdate eso, ¿ya? So lo usamos con adjetivos nada más. So big. My car is so expensive. You see? So. So boring. So significa mucho. Muy. El such a o such an lo utilizo cuando hablo de un sustantivo. Pero ese sustantivo tiene que tener un adjetivo antes. A boring movie. Awful situation, strange boy, a strange story. Okay. Now, now we are going to work with this. También vamos a practicar con esto, ¿ya? How, what. When we talk about exclamatory sentences, we use this expression to talk about, um, to emphasize the meaning of the adjective. ¿No? Como dice acá, ¿eh? Usamos las oraciones exclamatorias para dar énfasis al significado del adjetivo, adverbio o del sustantivo. Ya sabes qué significa what, ¿verdad? What. What significa qué. What a strange story. Qué extraña historia. What. ¿Ve? Y such, eh, perdón, y how significa cómo. How nice. Cuán bueno. No, how nice. Okay, how and what. Now, let's practice this with this other, okay? This other exercise, remember. Now, you are going to complete this. Complete the dialogue with how, what, so, or such. Ya vimos de so y such. Ahora vamos a complementar con how y what. For example, the one. Mark, I have got... So amazing news. No, amazing news son noticias, noticias grandiosas. Está un adjetivo y un sustantivo. Entonces es such. I have got such amazing news. I won a trip to Thailand. I can't believe it. It's been my dream to travel to Asia for for such a long time. ¿Ve? Long es largo, pero el time es un sustantivo. Such a long time. ¿Cómo digo que afortunado? How lucky, what lucky. Cuán afortunado, how lucky. Y vas complementando, ya vas complementando. Recuerda que vas a usar how, what, so, or such. When you finish the same, you see? Check and then you show me the score. Intenta traducirlo aunque sea. So significa muy, ¿no? Muy. Y such es para 
uh, con, con, ves un adjetivo y un sustantivo. Y normalmente está, está acompañado de la palabra apo, ¿no? A. ¿Ok? Ya, te voy a enviar este link. I'm going to send you this link in the chat. Let's practice, please, ¿ok? Ya, let's see. Yeah, this is the practice for so, such a, how, and what. From exclamatory sentences. When you finish, please, Reina, share your screen, ¿ok? Show me you, your score. Please go to the chat. Gracias. 
no, no, el, el, el ambiente grande. Yo le dejé aprendí crap. Okay, Reina, let's see. You send me to the WhatsApp, no? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. You score seven points. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now let's continue with our activities in our material, okay? Yeah, we practice so, such a, how, and what. We stopped in the activity mm, F. Yeah, we practice the activity F. We completed. Activity H, okay? Listen and type the stress word in each sentence. Yeah, for this, I'm going to share in another way. Just give me a second. I need to share in a different way. Yeah, last. C. Listen, please. Here, please listen the difference between these two words, original and surprise. Okay? Listen. Listen one more time. You, do you notice the difference, Reina? Notas la diferencia? Yeah, listen. How original empieza fuerte. Estas dos palabras son fuertes. Y de ahí va bajando. How original his idea was. How original. Esto suena más fuerte. Y de ahí va bajando. Este es al revés. Suena despacio y termina fuerte. What a surprise. ¿Sí? Empieza bajito. What? What a surprise. Now, the same, okay? Listen this seven sentence and the same. Tell me, ¿qué palabra es la que está sonando más fuerte? Yeah? What original? What a surprise. ¿Sí? Yeah, listen. Yeah, what is the word? Yeah, yeah, it's okay, the first. Original, ¿no? Si te fijas bien acá, original suena más fuerte. De ahí va bajando, como te digo. Original. En este lado, la que suena fuerte es surprise. Empieza bajito, pero suena fuerte surprise. ¿Qué palabra es la que suena fuerte acá? What? Unusual? Painting? Dime qué palabra es la que suena fuerte. Dicen. Yes, unusual. What an unusual painting this is. Do the same. Listen and tell me the word who stress more, okay? Listen. What is? Rude, yes. The adjective, no? Original. Surprise are adjectives. Now, the three. What is? Tales. Tasteless. Yes. Taste, let's do this is Yeah, the other, listen. What is? Yes, disaster. Okay, disaster, good. Number five. 
what is yeah one more listen what is thing or become No, just thing. Become sounds equal as the rest. How things has become. How things has become. Okay. Six. Listen. What is? Yes, wonderful. What a wonderful flowers. And finally, number seven, listen. What is? Yes, polite. That is the word, polite. You see? In the grammar we learn that las, las palabras que tienen con how y what que no son preguntas ¿ve? porque todas terminan en signos de exclamación son exclamatory sentences se enfocan en resaltar el sustan perdón el adjetivo how original this idea was ¿ve? original a veces claro a veces hacen con el sustantivo no what a surprise pero es normal usualmente casi siempre es en los uh, adjetivos. How original. Okay. Now, let's work with activity I and J. Okay. These two. To finish. Listen to the presentation and choose. We are going to have an audio here. Mm, yeah, listen, I'm going to show you another way. We have a uh, we have this part. The 14a, what a sight. You see? What natural disasters can you see in the picture, Reina? Is that an earthquake? Is that a volcano eruption? A tsunami? What is this? Yes, it's a flood. Maybe because the rain, or maybe because a tsunami, we don't know. That's why we are going to listen and choose. Okay, you are going to listen and you are going to tell me if this sentence are true or false. Okay, para eso hay que leer, vamos a leer para saber qué tenemos que buscar en el audio. The one says, uh, the teacher is going to read the one. Reina, please, you read the number two. The teacher, number three. You, the number four. And finally, the teacher, one more time with the number five. Okay, let's read, only read. When water started coming into the house, Malcolm got the kids out. Number two, please, Reina, read. Yeah, good. Number three, someone took Malcolm's car away. Five, finally, the Swan family, the Swain family, was taken to the hill. Got the kids out significa sacó a los niños. Malcolm got out the kids out. Someone took Malcolm's car away significa que alguien se, se llevó su carro. Someone took Malcolm's car away. Margot was very calm, estaba muy calmado, so calm. And finally, the swing family was taken to the hill. Su familia fue llevada a la colina. This is true or false, no? Yeah, let's listen. Te voy a enviar esta imagen, Reina. No es como la otra vez que pasó y no teníamos el material. Te voy a mandar esta imagen por el, por el WhatsApp del grupo para poder compartirte la pantalla y escuchar el audio. Porque en el audio no, no puedo mostrarte el material. No, no me deja. Okay, yeah, I'm going to share in another way to listen the audio. 
I'm going to send you the, the picture, okay? Yeah, listen the sentence, uh, sorry, listen the audio. Tell me if the sentence are true or false. Yeah, let's start. Listen please the audio. From here, yeah, listen. Let's listen one more time, okay? You have the pictures, uh, the five sentences. Read one more time. Decide if they are true or false. Listen one more time. Right now, did you finish or one more time? Right now, did you hear and checked all the sentence or one more time? Yeah, okay, let's see. I'm going to share in another way. Yeah, tell me that one, read please the number one and tell me if they are true or false, okay? Read, please. Yeah, very good, it's true. They said was a surprise, no? the water came into the house. Yeah, it's true, he got the kids out. Number two, please, read. False, no, it's true. Yes, also is true. He says, um, 
the only thing he was thinking was to go into the hospital because the hospital was building a hill. Yeah, it's true. Number three, please. False. This is false. The problem wasn't that someone took his car. The problem was that the water, the water hit his car. There was so much water that his car now is not available, available to use. So he couldn't drive. Okay, now number four, please tell me. False, very good. He was not calm. He says that he feels miserable, no, because he can solve or he he couldn't save his family, his mom, his kids, his wife. But he says that his wife was very calm. And she says, Why don't we climb up the roof of our house? So they decided to climb a roof. O sea, decidieron subirse al techo de su casa. Yeah, that was a good idea, ¿no? Because the police then came and they found uh, Malcolm's family there on the roof. Number five, please, read. is false it's not to the hill only they climbed to the roof of her house lo único que hicieron es subirse al, al techo de su casa y ahí la policía los pudo salvar the Shane family was taken to the hill no only to the roof to the roof of the house that's usually you do no that's the thing you you, you just do when you have a flood Look at the cars. It's not possible to use your car. The only thing is to, to climb up to the roof of your house. That's the only thing. Okay, that is the activity. J, yeah, you no? Know? The one is, yeah. Let's continue now with activity J. Yeah. Here we are going to complete as you did before. Let's complete with so, such, how, or what. Recuérdate, so es para adjetivos. So big, so interesting, or very interesting, or similar, ¿no? Such es para sustantivos, pero sustantivos que tengan un adjetivo. Such a good student, such a beautiful street. Such a new car, you see. How? How significa como? How? Y what? Que? This is for exclamatory sentences. Now, let's complete the activity. Oh, come on. Okay, Reina, in the number one, what do you think is the right option? So, such, how, what, yeah, very good. Such, no, such an amazing movie that was. Such, porque está usando amazing, que es un sustantivo, y movie, un, perdón, un adjetivo y un sustantivo. Such an amazing movie that was. I don't think I agree with you. What do you mean, Kimberly Holmes, is...
Yeah, good. Kimberly Holmes is such a was or oh, is a, such a wonderful, a beautiful actress. Yes, but she can act. Her performance was so, so bad. Good girl. So bad. Actuó muy mal, ¿no? Her performance was so bad. That I wanted to walk out of the movie theater. Tell me what critical, how critical, so critical, such critical. What? Nope. Nope. No worries. How critical. Cuán crítica eres algunas veces. Eh? How critical. ¿Cómo o cuán también es? O cuánto también, depende de how much, si es que dice, ¿no? How much, how many. How. Ok, this is the conversation, one, one of the conversation. Now, this second conversation, please, is for you, ¿ok? Read the conversation and then you tell me the words. Yeah, this is, this. What's wrong? Continue, please. Yeah, good. Continue. Okay. Mm, yeah, but it's not so. It's not possible so. ¿Ves que hay un signo de pregunta? Perdón, un signo de exclamación. Debe ser what o how. Uno de ellos dos. No, it's not what. How strange. Yes. Qué extraño. Cuán extraño. How strange. Mark always keeps in touch with his friends. Continue, please. <laughs> the baby is playing. Oh, what a fool you are sometimes. What do you think? Yes, such a. Yeah, it's good. Such. Such a fool you are sometimes. Pareces un tonto algunas veces. Eso es lo que le dice. Such a fool you are sometimes. Because he forgot this, no? That his friend went um, uh, went going. He was going camping. That's why he wasn't talking with his friend. No? Yeah, that's good. Okay, Reina, we are we finish it with a chapter 14A. No, let's continue with the 14B. Only we are going to watch the video, okay? Only the video. That's the only thing we are going to do. The video. So one more time, let's start with a video of the lesson 14B. Yeah, we finished with the 14A, now the 14B. Just let's work with a video, okay? Just the first part. You have to guess as always, no? Also, as you can see, we are continue talking about accidents, but not natural disasters. These are human accidents.
Yeah, look at the pictures, please. What kind of damage do you think a tornado that hit um, Wakeville caused? Well, we live in Peru many years, and to be honest, in my case, I never seen a tornado. I don't know how or how much was the destruction when a tornado came to a city or to a town. I don't know. I just saw some movies or videos, no movies, but just that. Which pictures, Reina, do you think a tornado can cause? ¿Qué accidentes de los que ves acá un tornado puede causar? What do you think? Is it, is it possible a fire for a tornado? A fire like this, big fire? No, no, it's not possible fires for tornado. What about a flood? Is it possible floods for tornadoes? Yes, no, sometimes happen this. Because the wind is so strong that destroy the, the lights, houses, even this, the water. Yeah. How about this? Do you think it's possible that cars crash each other in a tornado? This a car accident is possible for a tornado? Yeah, maybe, no, maybe. What about this? The trees fall down. Is it possible that a tornado can cause the trees fall down? Yeah, this is more, more usual, no? This is just usually happens in the tornadoes. The, the floods and this. But about the house destruction? Can a tornado damage your house? Yes, yes, also it's possible. And destroy the house. The last picture, the boat. Do you think it's possible for a tornado to do this? Yeah, but I think it's not for a tornado. Maybe this is for hurricanes. Because the hurricanes um, happens on the sea, on the ocean, and the tornadoes only on the cities of the land. But let's watch, okay? Let's watch the video. Let's listen to uh, the conversation. And let's see what kind of damage caused the tornado. Yeah, let's see. Let's watch. Oh, we didn't guess correctly. One more time, okay? Let's watch one more time.
Yeah, according to the video, we heard that there was a, a house burning out, no? Because the tornado caused a gas explosion. Yeah, this happens in this tornado. Floods? No. Car crash into others? Yes. Car crashings? Yes. Trees falling on roads? Yes. Okay? But they didn't mention about the flood, about the, the ship, no? About that. But of course, the house were destroyed? Yes. Okay, Reina, we are going to stop here, okay? The next class on Wednesday, we are going to talk about the lesson B, the 14B.